this video on mystery of altars is going to be very powerful and life transforming video please make sure to watch it till the end altar is a gateway between physical realm and the spiritual realm a man of altar is a man of power a man of altar attracts the presence of god everywhere he goes to understand the spiritual mystery of altars let us study something natural the word says in 1 corinthians chapter 15 verse 46 the spiritual is not first but the natural then the spiritual in the natural physical realm we will study what is heat and cold how it is connected to fire of god life of god and the light of god in the natural light is emitted by a heated substance let me repeat that again as it is important light is emitted by a heated substance for example look at sun look at an electric bulb everything is made up of atoms and atoms vibrate continuously more vibration and more shaking of atoms we have in an object more energy is emitted and we call it hotter at absolute zero motion and the vibration of an atom ceases they have no vibration no energy and atoms would stop moving completely cold is a privation of heat privation also means absence or lack which means that cold is the absence of heat cold is also the lack of heat there is no cold only absence of heat this is a fundamental building block in physics and thermodynamics more hotter means it means more energy and more vibration cold is associated with the quality of being stationary whereas heat is associated with motion let me repeat that again as it is important cold is associated with the quality of being stationary as heat is associated with motion same spiritually as well either we are delayed or we advance and accelerate in the spirit when we are cold in the spirit means we are delayed and not vibrating in the frequency of god on the other hand when we are hot in the spirit we are vibrating in the frequency of god and we are emitting the light of god now let us look at what is altar in the new testament and also let us <clears throat> look at what is the connection between light and life spiritually we will look at how fire is connected to the life and the light of god also to god's power god's energy and god's vibration in the new testament our body and our soul are called the altars of the lord so the word says that let the fire be continuously burning on our altars in leviticus chapter 6 verse 12 says the fire on the altar must be kept burning it must not go out the sacrifices are always offered on an altar and the fire falls on the altar so let me repeat it again as it is important sacrifices are offered on an altar and the fire falls on the altar if you look the altar of the body romans chapter 12 and verse 1 says to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to god which is your spiritual service of worship Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 says let us continually offer up a, offer up a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of the lips by acknowledging his his name on the altar of soul Romans chapter 8 verse 6 says mind set on the spirit is peace and life Matthew chapter um, 6 says that if i which it is singular if the eye is sing- is clear and single and focused the body will be full of light so we have to understand what is the connection between light and life 
John chapter 1 verse 4 says in him was life and the life was the light of men also in John 8 12 Jesus says that I am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have light of life when we say the fire burn continually on the altar let the fire continually burn on our heart souls and our bodies that does it mean let the light of god and the life of god continually fill our heart soul and our body in other words it is saying that let our soul our body be full of god's frequency god's vibration and god's energy basically we are doing a light therapy on our souls and body in the natural or in the physical realm the light is used to treat muscle pain skin treatment etc then how much more the light of god can transform our soul and body how how we make sure that the fire is always burning on the altar so there are four keys the first key is spending quality time in the sacred place with god second key is saturating in the word of god third key is prayer and the fourth key is praise and worship so these are the four keys which always make sure the fire is always burning on the altar so let us break it down so first let us look at spending quality time in the sacred place with god our god is a consuming fire daniel chapter 7 verse 10 says that a river of fire was flowing coming out from before him revelation chapter 2 verse 18 says words of the son of god who has eyes like a flame of fire psalms 97 verses 3 says like a fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about ezekiel chapter 1 verse 27 says the appearance of his loins and upward something like a glowing metal that looked like fire all around within it and from the appearance of his loins and downward i saw something like fire and there was radiance around him so we see the fire everywhere in the throne room we see the river of fire and jesus like everything above his loins and be, and, and uh, downward we see the fire and the fire goes before him and even the eyes like the flame of fire second key is the saturating in the word of god the word is like a consuming fire jeremiah chapter 20 verse 9 says his word is in my heart like a fire a fire shut up in my bones jeremiah chapter 23 verse 29 says is not my word like fire declares the lord and like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces jeremiah chapter 5 verse 14 says the words i give you will be like fire and these people will be like wood that burns up the entrance of the word gives light in psalms 119 the third key is prayer prayer is represented as incense in the spiritual realm every time when you pray it has a it has a substance in the spiritual realm the burning of incense is a heated substance burning incense that included the prayer of god's people arose to god revelation chapter 8 verse 4 says the smoke of the incense with the prayer of the saints went up before god out of angels hand and the fourth key is praise and worship psalms 111 verse number 1 says praise the lord the hebrew word for halal in psalms 111 is uh, sorry the hebrew word is halal which means shine flash forth light and always remember that fire always fall on the altar in 2 chronicles chapter 5 we say, we see that when they praise the lord saying he indeed is good his kindness is everlasting 
then the house of the lord was filled with a cloud so that the priest could not minister because of the cloud for the glory of the lord filled the house of the house of god so when they praised what happened was like okay let that fire on that altar burns and god responded by the glory of the lord and it says that the priest could not minister because the glory of the lord filled the house of god now let us look at this from the perspective of union with christ isaiah chapter 33 verse 14 says who of us can dwell with the consuming fire who of us can dwell with the everlasting burning so this is a question so answer is we can uh matthew 3 11 says jesus will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire so baptize means to be immersed it also means to be saturated so jesus will saturate and immerse you with the holy spirit and fire when we remain in the presence of god then indian fire is all around us in the spiritual realm there is an invisible pillar of fire around us everywhere we go there will be too much of heat around us as we are full of life and the light of god vibrating with god's frequency and god's energy and nothing from the kingdom of darkness no sickness no fear no worry can prevail against a man of altar who is continuously burning let the fire be burning continually on the altar means let the fire of god the life of god and the light of god continually burning on our heart soul and body when the fire burns on our altar our body and the soul will be full of light and life of god it means our body and the soul will be like a heated substance full of life of god when the fire does not burn on our altar our body and the soul is full of darkness and death it means that our body and soul is like a cool substance with no motion this was mentioned by jesus in matthew 6 i is the lamp of body if your eye is clear your body will be full of light but if your eye is bad your whole body will be full of darkness if the light that is in you is darkness how great is the darkness malachi chapter 4 verse 2 says the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings matthew chapter 13 verse 43 says Uh, then shall the righteous will shine forth as sun in the kingdom of their father i repeat the righteous will shine forth as sun in the kingdom of their father the principle of heat versus cold is also related to life of god in our body and soul opposite of life is death keep it in mind we are a three part being so spirit soul and body When we say that someone is alive or having life in the natural there will be movement and there is vibration in his body on the other hand when someone is dead there is no motion there is no vibration so we can connect this with a heated substance with a cold substance and we can see that how this is connected with life of god in our soul and our body mind set on the flesh is death means it is like cold there is no movement completely stagnant no godly vibration no god's energy which means that it becomes a breeding ground for demons who manipulate our soul put sickness and pain in our body they put worry fear and depression in our souls just visualize the effect of both life of life and light of god in your body and in your soul and the effect of absence of life and the light of god which is also death in your body and the soul to understand this i wanted to take the example of what happens to the trees during a winter storm during a winter storm ice is formed over the branches of the tree and the tree looks bent under the weight and the oppression of the ice some branches are broken because of the heavy weight of ice on the trees but the moment sun rises the weight of oppression of ice on the tree is removed 
tree is no more bent but restored to the original so here is the principle oppression and the weight of the ice came upon the tree only due to the absence of sun or the absence of heat let me repeat that again oppression and the weight of ice came upon the tree only due to the absence of sun or the absence of heat same principle remains true in the spiritual as well when our body and the soul is not filled with the presence and the glory of god oppression of the enemy touches our body and soul the moment the sun of righteousness rises on our soul and body oppression will be melted away and disappear our focus should not be on the oppression and demons but our focus should be on the sun of righteousness jesus christ who is our life and who is our light mountains mountains melt at the presence of god just like in the natural when the sun rises the oppression of ice melts away the sickness and pain in the body fear worry and the depression of our soul will be completely dissolved and melted away by the heat of the fire of your altar which represents a mighty presence of god judges chapter 15 14 verse 14 says that the spirit of the lord came upon samson and the ropes that were on his arms were as flax that is burned with fire and his bones melted from his hand bones melted by the presence of the spirit of god when our body and the soul are saturated in fire life and the light of god no sickness and pain can exist in your body spend some time meditating on the deep truths in this video so let it sink in deep into your subconscious and deep into your heart you will start walking in divine life completely sick free when you meditate and understand the deep truth the freedom and the revelations of this message i pray that let the fire on your altar burns continuously and every oppression from the camp of the enemy melt away by the heat of that fire If you like this video please subscribe and share god bless